I was thinking of this time we're living in. We're living in an unusual time. Some say this has not occurred in the last 90 years in quite the same way. So we're going back to the, 19, the 1920s. We're living in an age of, firstly, this technological disruption, huge changes in internet and how we communicate, even the way we're communicating now would have been unimaginable years ago that we could communicate over the internet in this way. I was, I had a, a slight smile when we, it just represents this change. Uh, for some of you, you may, you may get this. Elon Musk, the, the, the founder of Tesla, has become wealthier, he shares in the stock exchange, than Warren Buffett, the great legendary investor. And I thought that's a symbol of this technological change that we're, we're seeing. But that is not the only change, because there's a huge biological disruption. And I don't need to go through the whole details of COVID-19. We see this on the news every day. We get reports. One can feel almost overwhelmed with all the information, all the different views, all the different advices, the face masks, what to do, what to touch, what to sanitize. All these things are changing, and it is a huge change that we're going through. And then thirdly, there's, a, there's a, an economic disruption, which actually happened before the biological disruption, although the two are now happening together, where there's uh, the start of uh, an economic recession, unemployment, and uh, there's a huge deficit spending, liquidity injections, all kinds of things going on. But I thought the thing to, to deal with all these disruptions is to remember one's reciprocal relationships, to remember that in whatever way one's in, in engaged in the world, one is in a reciprocal relationship. And to remember that right from the very core of all, all of ecology, the way nature works, isn't just in isolation, isn't just extractive, it is reciprocal in even the plants, animals, how all of ecology works is of a reciprocal nature. And so we can realize that we need to be reciprocal as well. We need to learn to share, we know to give and take and learn to be wise in the way we engage. And as we bring that wisdom to our engagement, we know that we can make a difference. We know that we can deal with whatever disruptions come along. We know that we can be kind in the way we engage and make a difference in our lives and in the lives of other people. And that brings blessing and upliftment. And we are indeed blessed.